Now, inspections for the Pigeon Creek Bridge have been scheduled after being delayed due to the risk of the bridge possibly collapsing. Eyewitness News' Raven Ford is live there with details for us. Raven? Well, there's been some cones set up out here to detour traffic onto Diamond Avenue. And if I step aside, you'll see just behind me, traffic isn't too bad. Now, they also adjusted the light at that intersection on Diamond Avenue to help alleviate some of that traffic. And that told me that a climbing team has been scheduled to handle the inspection early next week. Now, as we mentioned before, the damage the oversized truck caused Tuesday night are extensive. So extensive engineers fear the bridge could collapse if they bring on any heavy equipment for the inspection. And our crews have restricted access to the bridge and say there isn't much more they can do until the inspection is complete. At this point, we can just hope for the best. I mean, there's there's a lot of damage to this bridge. Um, you know, we said it yesterday, our engineers feel like this is probably the heaviest damage he's ever seen to this type of structure. Um, and, and only time will really tell what we're going to be able to do once this is done. That climbing inspection is set for next Tuesday. This inspection will let NDOT know if they will have to replenish or replace the bridge completely. Now, either way, it will be expensive for NDOT. They say it may cost them millions of dollars. In Evansville, Raven Ford, Eyewitness News. Raven. NDOT says the Pigeon Creek Bridge was built in the early 1940s, and the Transportation Department says it is only aware of two truss bridges like this in southern Indiana. The other one is the Ohio River Crossing in Kennelton. That's in Perry County. Uh, NDOT says the bridge's height limit is 15 feet, and because it's an older specialty bridge, it was painted that bridge blue color for a reason, so as to be able to see any framework problems and other issues.